Hi, in this video we will attempt zoom and pan of steel image using PowerPoint 2010. The picture of a war painting is inserted onto PowerPoint work area. The image is then adjusted to cover the whole work area. The height and the width of the picture come to 7.5 inches and 10 inches respectively. Since there will be several slides to make the video, therefore the first job is to duplicate the first slide into at least 4 to 5 more slides. Coming back to the first slide, let me copy the image and paste it on it. So we have two copies of the same image. As you will see now, I will create a zoom in image from one of these while keeping the other intact. To make the zoom in image, let me click the crop tab and then proceed to pull the crop handles inward on the picture. A little bit of time will be spent here to keep the aspect ratio unchanged while cropping the image. When the cropped portion is more or less final, click the mouse anywhere beside the work area to crop the image. Let me click the cropped image and now pull the handles outward to enlarge it. I want to keep the dimensions same at 7.5 inches by 10 inches. So let me adjust the size accordingly. It's now time to render some animation to the enlarged image for its appearance. The duration of the animation and its occurrence can be easily adjusted in PowerPoint. After this is done, I will send the image back. This makes the second original picture come to the top. This image will also appear with some sort of animation. So let me do that now. The job now is to give a transition time to the first slide, which is the time it will take to advance to the second slide. On to the second slide now. Here too the image will be cropped, as you will now see but of a different area. The procedure to crop the image is the same. Later, the image will be enlarged to cover the full view area. Once again, following the same steps as in the last image. For better viewing, the enlarged image has to be perfectly at the center of the work area. Now comes the job of giving the image the transition push. This is important. The push transition between two slides gives the impression of panning effect between them. 
In the same way, the other slides are also cropped and zoomed and then given the push transition between them. Okay, here are the slides, a total of seven that give the effect of zoom and pan of a still image in PowerPoint 2010. Let's see how the final work has become. Not bad, I would say, though the zooming effect is not as good as in Vegas Movie Studio and Camtasia Studio. Thanks for watching.